Okay, so this is problem number one from chapter eight. Um, we have a parallel RLC circuit with 10 nanofarad capacitor, 2,000 ohm resistor, and 250 milliamp radian inductor. And we need to find the, the roots of the characteristic equations, which is S12. Um, we need to find the damping, what type of response this will be. Um, and we need to find the value for R such that we'll get a critically damped omega D of 12,000K, 12, 12K. And then for that 12K, we need to find the new, the new roots for the characteristic equation. And then for part E, we need to find R such that um, the, the system will produce a critically damped response. Okay, so S1 and 2 is negative alpha plus or minus the square root of alpha squared minus omega naught squared. Alpha is 1 over 2RC. Omega naught is 1 over root LC. So, what is alpha? We have 1 over 2 times 2,000 times 10 number. Put that in your calculator and you will come up with 25k. Park the value here. Okay. And then you that's going to be 1 over root LC, which is 1 over square root of 250 millihenries times 10 nanofarads. Put that into your calculator and you should come up with 20k. Okay, so the characteristic equation has that piece in common. Well, we can calculate that. Alpha squared minus omega naught square. Square root of, will be the square root of 25k squared minus 20k squared. That should yield 15k. Okay, so we have everything for all the information for our characteristic equation, S1 is going to be negative 25k plus 15k, that is negative 10k radians per second. S2 is negative 25 minus 15k, that is negative 40k per second. So that is the answer to part A. S1 equals negative 10k rad per second. S2 equals negative 40k rad per second. Well, what kind of response are we going to have? Or are we looking at here? So, recall that when alpha is greater than the AMR, we have overdamped. When alpha is less than the AMR, we have underdamped. When alpha is equal to the AMR, we have critical damped. Well, back here, we have calculated alpha to be 25, and then it ought to be 20, since 25 is greater than 20, we have an over response. Okay, 
Now, we need to find a resistor that will give us an over -damp, a critically damped response with the uh, damping uh, with the omega D to be 12,000 K or 12 K. So to do that, first we have omega D is equal to the omega not minus alpha squared. So what we need to do is set that to equal. Set that equal to, hold on, I don't have my numbers here. Okay. Okay, so 12K is what we want. Oops, oh, duh, right there, 12K. All right, so we want to set this to be 12K. Okay, so we square this. Now, omega not. Okay, I'm going to have is going to run over the LC. So that is not going to change. It's going to be 20K still. So we actually put the 20K in here. It's going to be 20K squared. We square that to bring the alpha out of the um, radical. So that gives us 144K. Well, let's just call it 12k squared because it's going to be a really big number. That's going to equal 20k squared minus alpha squared. So then alpha is equal to, so let's bring this over here. We have 12k squared minus 20 k squared. We have negative alpha. This is going to yield a negative number. So basically, when you take 12k squared minus 20k squared, you're going to get a negative number. But we have a negative here. So a negative and a negative becomes a positive. So I'm going to switch the order around. 20k squared minus 12k squared. Okay. And then alpha is going to be the square root of that. But alpha is 1 over 2RC. And we're trying to find R. So let's leave this square. So we're just going to end up doing some algebraic manipulations and you get 1 over 4 r squared c squared is equal to 20 k squared minus 12 k squared. Swap the places and you should put this into your calculator or you have r will be the square root of is the square root of put the 20 you have 1 over 4 times 20k squared minus 12k squared times 10 half squared what's the square root of that? I'll actually do that right now just to make sure. So we have, it's easy to make algebra mistakes, but those are more pretty non trivial. 20k squared minus 12k squared times 4 times 10 times 10 raised to negative 9. some kind of algebra mistake somewhere for so r four c squared for r squared c squared so oops I see what I did I had to square those okay four times 
40,000 squared minus 12,000 squared times 10 times 10 we said that you're 9 quantity squared times 4. Okay, make sure when you put this into your calculator that you put wrap the parentheses around the 10 nanofarads. Um, because what I did was I forgot to wrap it around there and it yielded a wrong and incorrect answer. Okay, so. Okay, yeah. So if you put that into your calculator, you will come up with a value of the resistance of 3175. That will yield a critically uh, an underdamp response such that the damping. Um, the, the omega D is 12K. So that's part C. Ohms. Okay. So what's the new omega what's the new um, solution to the characteristic equation? S12 for the omega D? Well we have already stated that and we know that it's gonna yield when we solve omega naught minus alpha minus omega naught, we're going to have unknown roots. That's the nature of an underdamped re under response, is the unreal roots. And we had already said that the unreal part of it was going to be 12K. So this is really trivial. So it's so the, the, other, the, the J part is going to be J12,000, because that's we, we set that as a condition in part C. So J twelve thousand K. Okay, so that's going to be the second part. And um, the roots for a critically damped equation, just recall, is going to be negative alpha plus minus J omega D, right? So we already have our omega D. So now what's our alpha? One over two R C is going to be alpha. So alpha is going to be one over two times 31, 25, times 10 nanos, and do that, and that will give you uh, 16 thousands, so that's 16 K. So, the roots then become S1 is negative 16 K, plus J 12K. Yeah. Run for a second. And S2, oh, I'll just do plus minus S12. So S2 will be negative 16 minus 12K rads per second. Okay. So now we want to find the value of resistance such that we'll get a critically damp response. Critically damp response means alpha squared is equal to omega naught squared. So set them equal to each other and do a little bit of algebra. 1 over 2 RC. Omega naught 1 over root of C. 1 over 4 R squared C squared. 1 over LC. So LC has to equal 4 R squared C squared divided by 4 C squared. 4 C squared. That C cancels with that. You have R then is equal to the square root of L over 4 C. So what is that value? We have 250 millimeters here over 4 times 10 nanofarads. Put that in your calculator and you should come up with a value of 2,500 ohms. So for the critically damp response, we want to use a resistor of value 2500 ohms.
Next.